Hello and welcome to Foregoing Function, where we do not care about if a game works, we only care about how much fun we're having. And the game we're playing today is Spore. Now Spore is a game that, upon its release, uh, was a major disappointment to almost everyone involved. Uh, I mean, the game promised a lot, and uh, it's debatable whether or not it delivered on it. Um, most people would tell you, in fact, it did not. So, the first step of Spore is picking out a planet. Here's the game I've been playing. Uh, you get several different types of planet to choose from. We'll do this one. Yeah, look at that. It's all confusing. Perfect. And these are the stages you can play through. Uh, we're going to do Cell Stage. We're going to start with... Uh, you know what? I don't think I've ever started with a herbivore. We're going to do herbivore. <laughs> We can have it themed upon stuff I've created, or we can just do no theme. We're going to go ahead and... Actually, no. We'll theme it upon my creations. Why not? Uh, I don't actually have that many, but whatever. We're going to do normal difficulty, because if we fuck up, it will be pretty forgiving. Uh, we'll call this the Forgone... The planet name is Forgone Function. There you go. It's like, it's the sequel to this channel. Instead of foregoing it, you have foregone it. So it starts out with this very nice cutscene. I'll just shut up so you can view it in its entirety. And so, we emerge from the meteorite. So, throughout Spore, the choices you make will impact the future. As a cell, <laughs> as a cell, your mission is to eat, grow, and evolve. Growth is measured in your progress bar below. Uh, this is your progress, yada, yada, yada. We don't need the tutorials. Anyway, what that was is there's a theory that all life originates from cells contained within meteors that at one point crash landed in earth so there's how this being came to be we're an odd fellow we got uh two eyes up oh, that he's an even odder feller so since we're an herbivore our job is to eat the little green plant bits at this point i'm thinking we should have gone uh carnivore actually never mind here's some more green bits ah uh, there's so much competition all right, let's go ahead and eat this. Ah, there we go. Let's get that. Oh, if we click on this button down here, this is our species. We can pretty much track it all through its existence. We have lived exactly 100 million years, I think. But maybe zero years. Maybe this is 100 million years in the past. I don't know. Since the beginning of the planet? Yeah, let's go with that. Anyway, oh, come on. We have lots of competition as a cell. Hey, fuck up. Hey, hey, fuck you. Ooh, plants. <laughs> we gotta hurry up and get us some. Yeah, now I'm bigger than you. Oh, what is going on? Life is tough for a cell. Ah, oh, sweet. There's some danky ass plant. Ah. Oh. Oh, sweet. Other cells and meteor bits are the key to finding new parts. Each part has its unique benefits for your cell. When you see a new part, swim on top of it and you gain it. So, boom! We just unlocked the spike mutation. So, let's get up to 15 cell bits and then we'll go check out what the spike mutation does. Whoa. Okay, there we go. If we hit this button right here, we call in a mate. 
I know this is a cell stage, but it's really more like a strange fish stage, if that makes any sense. Uh, let's see here. Originally there was going to be like an aquatic stage, but it kind of didn't work out. Let's see. They canceled it during the production. Uh, let's go with this real bubbly looking one, and we'll choose a... <laughs> we could be jet black. We could be that fucking weird ass cell. We could also be up. We could also be extremely white. Uh, let's see here. We'll just go with the base. We'll go with a somewhat dark color of orange. Okay, and then we'll go back into the building stage. You can scroll up and down and change kind of how your cell looks. And let's rip off these eyes. That does mean if you're so inclined. You can make a sperm cell. And I kind of fucked it up, but still. Yeah, a bit bigger in the front. Yeah, God. I really screwed up this uh, thing. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? That's a sperm cell. That's not what we're going to do, however. I don't like that. Let's go with a single eye. Let's do the single eye in the rear of the creature, why not? Uh, let's see, let's bulk it up slightly. We'll have a singer, single eye in the rear. We'll split off his flagella, And let's see, we'll add two spikes and we'll make them large so they cover more area. And it looks like we have enough for another set of spikes. So we're gonna add it to the mouth and just like the other ones, we're going to make them slightly larger. And that's our new creature. Now we have to name it. And we'll call it a to Tokel. Takel. Teko. Teko L. I don't know. Give me a random name. Uh, Takosin? Yeah, it's a Takosin. There we go. Takosin. No description. This thing. <laughs> This thing is clearly made by a higher intelligence. And there he goes, he hatches, and this is our new cell. He's slightly odd because his eye's in the rear, but he has spikes, so like no one's gonna <laughs> no one's gonna insult this guy. Up, oh, we have progressed to a bigger stage of creaturehood. And now we actually have attack. Basically, if we were a carnivore, we could have used our mouth to attack other creatures. However, we are a nice little herbivore. Actually, let's check out. See, we can end up being a herbivore. We can end up being a... Omnivore, and we can end up being a carnivore. We're gonna go with herbivore, just because, why not? Let's, let's play to the extremes here. Hey, fuck you. These are my plant bits. This one's mine. <laughs> Look at the big just swarm of herbivores. <gasps> oh shit. Hey, hey, fuck you, that's mine. Oh shit. Hey, fuck off. <laughs> I like these spikes. We need more spikes on this guy. Up. Oh. There's a lot of plants over here. Oh, look at the big guy in the background. Ha. Huh. Now he's slightly smaller. Oh, sweet. This guy has a new mutation. He has, um, the jets. There we go. Now we also have that mutation. Uh, I don't think we have enough DNA points, which are these things down here, to be able to make use of it, but still, it's neat. There we go. Defending ourselves from the harmless herbivores. Hmm. No more plant bits over here. Where am I supposed to get my plant bits? Up. Oh, sweet! We're finally big enough for there to be actual big plants. Oh, look at this. Oh, so much plants. Oh, so many. Oh, so many. So many plants. Oh, my God. So much DNA. So much DNAs. Oh, my God. This is a lot. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. I don't think we're collecting points for it, though. Ah, uh, shit. We have to, like... We have to put, like, time in between it? There we go. 
Oh, here's dudes with new mutations. They have, uh, there's poison down there, and these ones have the wings. Uh, I don't think we're fast enough to catch up with them. Yeah, we're not. Hey, there's one of our guys, a taco sin. Oh, oh, sweet. There, we just unlocked the poison thing. Sweet. Now we know how to spit out poison if we so choose to. And let's gain a little bit more DNA. And then let's call for a mate. Oh, shit. Actually, wait. This guy might die soon. Oh, nope. Never mind. Let's just go straight for the mate. So, do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. And here we are in the Creature Creator once more. And as you see, we unlocked Poison, so we could use that if we wanted to. Uh, we also have a Jet. We could remove our Fragellum and use this instead. Uh, it's slightly faster, but I don't like the look of it. So we're going to go with just an extra Fragellum like that. And the Eye, we're going to move back slightly further. And we're going to bulk up the back section a bit more. And we're going to make the front section a bit smaller. These spikes here, we're going to kind of rotate backward. And these ones here, we're going to move there. And, yep, that's what we're going with. And now if we go check out this, here's the history of our creature. See, we started out as this little guy. We moved to this, and then we evolved to that. So, let's go swimming around now. We should be well able to catch these guys now. Basically, oh, never mind. They're pretty dang fast. Oh, shit. Moving the spikes back was not a good idea. And if you're wondering, I'm playing this with the mouse rather than the keyboard. It just feels nicer. Oh, shit. It's fine. It's fine. We have spikes. Ah. Ah. This is insane. Why are there so many? What? 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 Hey there, buddy. Donna. 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 Na, na. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Run away! Run away! Basically, that guy right there has evolved to be an omnivore. And he basically sucks out essence from both plants and animals. Which... Oh, shit. Which is a mighty fine evolution. One that we, however, are not caring about. Because we are going completely herbivore. Oh, shit. There's a big guy. Oh no, that guy also has spikes. So, at this level, what we're looking to do is gain a herbivore mouth. The reason why is just for the parts. We don't actually want to go omno... I mean, what we're doing is looking for an omnivore mouth. Uh, we don't actually want to go full herbivore. I mean... <laughs> God damn it! One more time, one more time. What we're doing is looking for an omnivore mouth. We don't actually want to go uh, full omnivore. We want to stay as a herbivore, but no harm in getting all the parts. Okay. And we don't have enough anything yet to go something else. As you can see, these spikes are very effective at keeping your, uh, your prey off of you. Uh, basically, you should always make your spikes as big as possible to ensure they take up the most area possible. Uh, as you notice, these guys with the little spikes aren't really doing much because they have to get so close. Oh, that one actually managed to hit me, though. Hmm. And right here we have the carnivores, but apparently we're fast enough to outrun them, so... New skin off our back. Oh, yeah. These spikes are really effective. And let's continue on. Yeah, we beat our competitor. Wow, there is a lot of green guys. I mean, not green guys, herbivores. 
I mean, not herbivores. I mean, goddamn orange guys. Holy shit, what's wrong with me? Hey, there's one of our buddies. Hey, you good-looking cell, man. Oh, shit, there's some herbivore shit over here. I, I mean, a plant. God. You take a couple weeks off and look what happens. Also, I should mention, this is my first episode back from that long break I took. Sorry about that. Um, hey, there's some electric guys. Oh, shit. Ugh. Oh, we could actually get them. Yeah, there we go. And now we have all the parts. Let's call in a mate and do a little dance. <laughs> do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. And here we are, back in the creature creator. Now, we could invest in more spikes if we want it. <laughs> uh... What we're actually going to do is we're going to drop the speed of our creature. We're going to add in these wings here. Uh, let's add them. What would that look like? No, let's not do that. We could add them up front, and then we could do like a single flagellum in the back. Yeah. Uh, what if we do um, right there? Yeah, right there in between the spikes. And then we can even add another set of spikes up front here. Make them slightly bigger to increase the surface area. And boom. This thing does fast turns. And it's the same speed as the flagellum we lost. So it's perfect. And there we go. Basically now we turn super good. The wings do uh, control a little bit differently. But it doesn't matter. You're not going to be playing the spore st <laughs> not the spore stage. I mean the cell stage for a super long amount of time. Oh shit. He's got even bigger spikes than me. But yeah, with these spikes we can take on creatures way bigger than ourselves. Except not these ones because his mouth is too big. If you're carnivore, make your mouth really big too. There's a bunch of little tricks if you want an easy time in the cell stage. Nom. Back off. Ah. 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 That's our first death, though. And it only took us about 17 minutes. Not bad. But it is kind of bad that we died in the cell stage. <laughs> anyway. Let's continue on with eating our plants. Boop, boop. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Stab him. Hey, there's one of our guys. He's so confused. Oh, shit. The electric guy evolved as well. Quickly. Away! Heroes don't run away. However, we aren't a hero, so... Whoa. I am getting burned. Or electrocuted, electrocuted, excuse me. Uh, apparently there's no plants here. Oh, shit, that guy's got poison. Oh, there's a plant, though. We're gonna have to go in for it. Oh, shit, here's a big plant. You'll notice in the cell stage, these plant areas tend to be, like, the congregations of where the animals end up. And that's because carnivores want to feast on the herbivores, and the herbivores want to feast on the plants. Okay, let's go around his poison trail. And, oh shit. They're eating up those fucking good plants. There we go. Oh shit. Back off, man. Dave's not here, man! Ha! Ah, we're your same size now, and we killed you with our spikes. Oh shit. That guy's got like a billion mouths. Oh. Oh, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Holy shit. Uh, this calls for a mating. We need to, uh, match the needs of our environment. <laughs> there we go dancing again. So let's see here. Hmm. What does our invi- Hmm. Uh, 
There we go. Boom, like that. We're gonna add poison. <laughs> poison is great if you're a herbivore. Uh, basically, you just leave a trail of damaging material behind you. That damaging material is, of course, that purple shit. And as you see, it is really effective at deterring people. Oh, and we grew bigger than our cell, buddy. Also, all the, also there's going to be a lot more of us spawning here. As you can see, it is a great deterrence. It basically allows us to move in without things following us. Let's do one of these little loops there. Oh, there's a plant bit. <laughs> Let's see. Back off, man. I'm the herbivore around here. Oh. Deterrence mode activated. More poison. Oh shit, we're getting sucked. Gotta stay away from him. Huh. Oh my god. Too many cells. Too many cells. Too many cooks. Too many cooks. Takes a lot to make a stew. Especially when it's me. Oh shit, we can eat those black things? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's insane. I learn something new about this game every time I play it. Oh, there's a plant. Ugh. I've never actually played as a herbivore. Oh, and there we go. It took, <laughs> took us 22 minutes, but there we are. We are now on the path to sentience. When it comes to swimming and sledge, you rule the pool. When you're ready, click to stretch your legs in the big wide open. Click the advance button. It took us 2 billion 600 million years. Holy fuck. This timeline shows the history of the actions you've taken during your life as a cell. You have established a trait which earns you unique abilities that will benefit your future generations. Which path have you chosen? Oh. So, here we go. This is our history. As you, Let's just do a really quick recap. Apparently my scroll button's not working. Up oh, there it goes. So we shared it from the meteor, and the meteor, excuse me. And we looked blue. We had two eyes, and we were gross. And then we evolved spikes, moved our eye backwards, got fat in the back, got two tails, and then we evolved into the ninja star design with three flagellums. Uh, spikes got rearranged, and then the next generation we got fins in place of the two extra flagellum. We got a new set of spikes. The last generation, we got poison. So, let's move on. And that's the little music of success. And here we are in the early creature creator. Basically, this is where you go and design your creature the first time it walks on land. They give you enough points to add a pair of legs, plus whatever was left over. So, let's go down like this. Uh, let's see here. Let's go down like that. Up like this. Let's bring that in. Let's see. Something like this. Uh, let's move that forward. Where's his knees at? Hmm. Let's move that there. Um, paint mode. Hmm. Let's bring this set of spikes forward. Let's bring, let's tilt the eye down. Hmm. Something like this, maybe? <laughs> hmm, let's 
see here. You know what? The top of the leg needs to be fatter, and then let's make everything else kind of skinny. We can also take that off if we really want to. Uh, but we don't actually want to do that, so let's give him back his feet. Um, hmm. About there? Hmm. We could do something like this. Hmm. Let's do like super weird legs. And then what we could also do is just extend this out. Alright, let's let's see. Let's move the legs a bit further back. Then let's move these knees like there. And let's see. That's too much of a bend. And then let's see, we'll tilt the eye some. And there we go. That's our creature. Now watch in amazement. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is going to be fucking funny as hell. <laughs> um, so it's initializing Nera subsystems. So down here are some creatures we're gonna like see throughout our adventure as a creature. The huge, the Grink, the Dubl, the Magarwell, blah 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 blah. So boom. There our guy is. He's not very bright, he's not sticking his head above the water. There he goes. Oh shit, look at the fucking funny ass walk they do. It's the beginning of a new day, and for you, a whole new strange and wondrous world. Air fills your lungs as you stretch into your limbs. In your new home, Drime Land, the race to evolve has begun. And we're basically in like a little tribe thing. Let's see. Holy fuck. These things are horrifying. Up, oh, they can jump though. Up, oh, they laid an egg. Don't ask me where that came out of. You've discovered a new part. Oh, we got a set of arms. Oh my god. We're a hor- did I, did I just do a fucking- Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. You guys- Oh my god. They do fucking flips. <laughs> they do fucking flips. Oh my god. I've never seen a creature in this game do a flip when they jump. So, they must have like super weird proportions and that's the only thing the game can think to do with them. Holy fuck. Well, see you next time. Until then, let this beautiful creature sink into your soul. Up, oh, up, oh, there you go. Look at his ass. I'm going to save the game first. He's like, hey, look at my ass. Look at my ass. I'm a good creature. Look at my ass. So, see you around. And as always, bye!